Well, good afternoon and good morning wherever you guys are from. It's a great day. It's about 19 degrees Fahrenheit, just a little bit windy. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about changing the face of old car auto sales. So stay tuned. So in past videos, you guys have heard me give you updates on uh, the status of the business. And well, over the last year or so, because of the virus, because of the uh, economy, whatever the reason is, old car auto sales has been extremely slow. Uh, business has been quiet. Uh, we used to be able to bank on the service shop out back for doing repairs to help keep us going. And even that's been slow lately. So dad and I got together and we figured it was time to make a few changes and see exactly what it is we can do to uh, make things a little better for us. And well, let me show you something. So we do have an empty space right there. We've got this Chrysler 200 we've been sitting on since July last year. And we've got the little Kia Rio and it's faced in backwards because somebody took it for a test drive yesterday and put a huge down payment on it. But if you look at the rest of the lot, she's looking pretty, pretty bleak. And uh, even out front here, you'll notice there's uh, only two SUVs in the front line. And well, one's missing, well, because it's right here. But not all is lost. Last week, I went up to the Miramichi and I picked up a 2018 Santa Fe. And this is the Santa Fe I took on trade on it. This is a customer vehicle and this is our company van the one we do all of our running with and when the lot gets bleak well we're doing one of two things you're either selling a lot or you're not <laughs> and uh, the way it sits right now is we are actually selling a lot since last Thursday we've uh, we've sold five vehicles and that's pretty much unheard of in these times but nevertheless I'm not complaining things have been uh, really good for us but uh, the point of this video is to tell you exactly what those changes are and what we're going to be doing to, uh, to make old car auto sales uh, a thriving business once again. You'll see behind me the shop truck with a trailer. We bought that trailer last fall and the whole point of that is we're going to start barn fine hunting. Not in the classic sense of you know going through barns and whatnot, but we'll be browsing Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, which is like Canada's Craigslist, and other sources to find vehicles, older vehicles, hence old car, um, and bringing them back to the lot. Now, not completely refurbishing them, but if they are running and driving, then they'll they'll get uh, a little bit of a cleanup and maybe a detail and you know some whatever major repairs might need to be done to get them in a sellable condition, and then we'll be advertising them all over. Internet marketing is a strong tool, so you've got things like Kijiji to turn around and flip it again. You've got eBay autos uh, that you can, uh, you know, or eBay motors, I guess they call it, that you can go and put vehicles on. With the border being closed, that does two things. It limits our market for looking for vehicles, uh, but it puts a little extra, uh, what do you call it, wrench in the gear, so to speak, when it comes to selling vehicles to uh, the American side. As you guys may or may not know, this is our 2011 Ford F-150. Yes, it's just a 150 um, with a 5.0, and it works really good. It's a high miler. We bought it really cheap a few years ago, but we basically had to do everything. Uh, new brakes and suspension all the way around, and tires. Uh, in the summertime, we've got some fancy 18-inch uh, uh, aluminum wheels uh, with some big 35-inch tires. This thing is set up to haul, and it does do that very, very well. And our trailer, we just got it set up with a brand new wench and battery, and we will be uh, able to have this thing all rigged up. It's got the slide-out ramp, so we don't have to carry any ramps around. Uh, wheel bearings, all that stuff, tires are all good. So uh, for now, this is going to do the trick. We want to make sure that we're giving this A lots of time to show that the fruits of these labors are going to be fruitful, uh, but also that there's a viable business model here so we'll probably commit ourselves to doing this for a few years uh, and if we can grow that great 
and that will be the next big thing. So the other benefit of that is, is it gives me some great content for you guys uh, to be able to share some of these older vehicles that we may get in regardless of what they are, whether it's from the 80s or 90s or 50s or 60s, who knows what we may come across and uh, be able to do maybe some revivals and get the, uh, uh, you know, get old car guy and old car auto back to where we think it needs to be. We need to grow the channel, we need to grow the business, and I think this is the model to do that. And one of the other things that we really want to start focusing on is cars under $10,000, even some of the more modern stuff. Little Kia Rio, we haven't had that that long, but it sold quick. And even though we've had this one for a while, there tends to be some more interest in this because of the price point, and we're able to sell these for under $10,000. The Chevy Cruze that we sold the other day sold it for $79.95. We also had another red Dodge Journey, a darker red one, 2010, and uh, we sold that for something like $5,500. The 2012, well, we've got, I think, $69.95 on it. So the cheaper stuff generally tends to sell a lot quicker, so that's kind of the focus of what we're going to be doing for our day-to-day -day business. And the older stuff is stuff that we'll be doing the internet marketing for and trying to find some buyers for those. So one of the other things I want to do today is I want to make this vehicle one of a kind. But Jason, it's a lifted 03 Grand Marquis with 31 inch tires and a great big rack on the, on the top and, and a bunch of lights. It's not already unique. We're going to make it unique to the channel. Let's go inside and I'll show you why. I have made up some of these decals and well these are just small ones. They're only uh, uh, this size because that's as big as I could get through the printing company that I used. We may go with something a little bit bigger down the road but they are a matte finish and they are the new logo for the channel and we're going to be putting them on the rear fenders on uh, old Blackjack here. And the new channel stickers are going to be here any day, guys. If you are interested in the old car guy stickers, and I'm going to put a picture of it right here, then you can message me on Instagram or Facebook with your address. If you're another YouTube channel, we'll do a sticker swap. Uh, but if you just want to buy one, um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to sell them for. Maybe five bucks. I don't know. So if you want some, let me know and you can get some for your very own. And this is probably a great time to let you guys in on today's sponsor. And well, today's sponsor is Focus Apparel. You don't know what that is? Well, it's basically the name brand of the apparel that I'm using for my merch. If you like this new Dale T or the Focus on the Windshield T or the new Logo T, you can find those at the Spreadshirt link, which is the first one in the description box down below, and you can get one of your very own. Heck, why not get one of each? One for your brother, one for your sister, one for your mother, maybe even one for grandma. Maybe she likes old Dale the truck. They are available. They're not very expensive. Once you uh, convert to American money, you might be paying 25 or 6 bucks for a tee. I hope you guys can support the channel, as well as the new Focus brand. Uh, there's some other designs on there as well, and there will be more coming. Uh, if you like the Dale tee, there's going to be a Doba tee, as well as a Grandma tee as well in the future. Uh, kind of in the same design as what this one is here from Micah over at Micah Doodles, who did an awesome job at uh, designing this shirt. So guys, don't forget the live stream is on Thursday evenings. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show happens every week at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern. This week it's going to be on my channel, and it's going to be a legacy episode. We're going to have a little fun with nicknames of cars. You're not going to want to miss it. Uh, so don't forget my channel, Car Guy and Six Fan Show, with my co-host Grant Tommy, who is straight six fan. So having said all that, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again in the next video.